Okay, just take your hands to the neck strap. Now, as we discussed, keep your hands at the neck strap. I want you to keep your hands still, your heels still, but transfer the weight out of your seat into your heels through your stirrups and bring your shoulders over your hands. So just off you go. So your, your shoulders come for that's it. Your shoulders come forward and slightly lower. Now back into the saddle and do it again. Okay, that's good. This time and back into the saddle. This time I want you to actually get you pushing out of the saddle more, not just coming forward. I want you out of the saddle. So push up and forward. Good. Feel your feet move. And back in again. And again. Right up and back in the saddle again. Okay, so when we jump, what we're aiming for is our feet stay, our heels stay still. The weight goes from our seat to our heels through our stirrups. Our hands can move a little bit forward, but what moves is our body. So our shoulders come over our hands, our seat comes out of the seat, and our leg goes from a, a flexed to a more extended um, position, okay? Okay, the same little exercise at the trot. Keep your hands at the center at the neck, thumbs up. Now, just go to two point and keep your body, keep your, keep your seat out of the saddle. That's good, good. So now can you feel that your shoulders are over your hands and you've got all of your weight in your feet, even though they're moving a little bit, that's where all of your balance is gonna come from. Now, of course, we're not going to do that you know, perfect jumping, but this is the movement pattern. Okay, go rising. Check your diagonal. Right, go two point. Oh, feel how you lifted your hands a little bit? Yeah. So when you lift your hands to do that, you're going to lift your hands when you jump. All right, go rising again. Right, now this time I want you to think before you go two point, take your hands slightly forward into her neck. Okay, go two point. Well done. Feel the difference? Good girl. So as we go over the fence, we want our hands to go forward, not backwards. We want our body to go forward, not backwards. So you can train the movement pattern. Okay, do it again. Think hands slightly forward, heels. Ah. Okay, what you did then was just lift your, you kind of just came up. You didn't go forward. Push yourself so your shoulders go over your hands into two point. There, well done. Feel the difference? Good girl. Okay, do it again. Now, the difference, remember the difference between hovering and going forward is, is quite different when you're going over a fence. Go rising, go rising, keep your hands there, go rising, go rising, go rising, good. Now, go two point. All right, did you feel you hovered and your hands came back? Okay, go rising, got to steer as well, check your diagonal, okay. Think about it, you're going to take your hands slightly forward and you're going to lift your body out of the saddle through your feet, not a huge amount, and just push into two point. Oh, did it again. Feel how you're trying to grip through your hands? Right, take them up the neckline a little bit more and follow with your shoulders and push through your heels. Then go two point. Much better. Much better. Because that's a really important movement pattern to achieve because when you're coming into a fence I mean anything can go well everything can go wrong but if you're already behind the movement and starting to pull on the rein rather than to go forward with your hand that's when you're going to have a horse being gobbed in the mouth okay try again forward with your hands push through your heels and forward with your shoulders over your hands ah uh, well done well done keep your hands at the next step ah uh, good girl Push through my heels. Ah, uh, you've let go of the reins. Push through your heels. Push through your heels now. Oh, well done. Okay, keep your keep your reins. Push through your leg. Oh, well done. So remember, the poles are at four feet, which means you're going to ride the four foot stride before you get there. All right, Joe, go to your two point. Get your neck strap. Keep her away from me. Well done. 